Okay, we have a piece of mahogany attached to the lathe here. We're going to try and make us a rectangular bowl today. Um, I've drawn the shape of the bowl on the side of the piece of wood, as you can see there. Um, it'll be an uh, interesting project, hopefully. Uh, let's turn the lathe on and see what happens with this thing going around here. Well, it's... Uh, Definitely looks like a knuckle buster, so I better be careful when I got my fingers in it. So we're going to get set up and uh, see what we can uh, come up with. Okay. We have the uh, piece of wood and the lathe. We have the tool rest almost where we want it. What we're going to do... I have two lines here. One is the, this is the foot. I need to clean out the inside of that, so we'll see how it goes here. I'm going to use this scraper. I'm not quite sure if uh, you'll be able to see this or not. This is totally a uh, cob setup, and anyone that w w did any per amount of video and, videoing at all would certainly laugh at it. So uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, see what happens. It's going to be noisy, uh, so I probably won't have a chance to say anything. So. Let's see what happens. Take a small parting tool and define the outside of the foot. And we want to go about 3 16th inch deep, which looks about where it is. Okay, we're going to take this bowl gouge. And we're going to uh, start to shape the outside of this this uh, bottom of this bowl. Um, we'll see, just for heck of it, let's check and see how actually deep we got on our little groove here. Uh, it looks like it could go. I need to clean out some of that waste and then we'll uh, make it a little bit deeper. tool make that a little bit easier. Make it a little bit deeper on the inside. So can't go too deep on the inside because that's the bottom of our bowl. Alright, now we want this to be about its center line, which is not. So let's lower that down a little bit and that'll be about good. Now we're going to start cupping this off the edge here, so it's going to be a, an experience. Let's start the inside and work our way out. Once you get past the center portion of this bowl here, we're cutting as much air as we are wood. So we have to be careful. It's going to be a little rough. Especially out here. Thank you. 
Boy, that don't look good, does it? Yeah, let's see. Well, we're doing all right. We're almost done where we want to be there, but we need to take a lot more off out here in the outside edge, so we're going to work on that. In fact, I'm going to pause the video shortly for a short period of time here, and then we'll come back to that once I get it shaped up a little bit better. Okay, for the past few minutes I've been cleaning this uh, bottom of our bowl up with a scraper here, a scraper, and uh, I got a little high spot right in here. I need to make that a little bit deeper around there and clean that up, so we'll work on that for a few minutes here and see how we do. We're not really uh, taking off a whole heck of a lot of wood here. I can see I got some tear out along the edge, but this blank is wider than it needs to be, so I can trim that up on the table saw once we get uh, once we get done here and um, make it look a little bit better. I'm pretty much down to the shape of the pattern. I do need to make that right there a little bit deeper, uh, and I'm not quite sure about the inside there yet. I might do that as well because it has to fit in the jaws of my chuck. Okay, that has to fit into this four jaw chuck. This is a four jaw chuck. You can see that the, as you turn these, these four jaws open and close together. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that inside there like that. We're going to open it up and see how well our it fits because when we turn the bowl around that's what's going to hold it. So that seems pretty tight so we don't need to go any deeper with that. Now we use our bowl gouge a little bit to clean up the outside right here. There's a little groove there. We don't want that in there. So we're going to clean that up with this bowl gouge once we get it set to the right spot. The trick is always not to take off too much wood because you can't put it back on. So let's see. We'll use our scraper here a little bit to clean that part up. Okay, that's how we do the bottom of this little bowl. I'm going to sand it up uh, and I'm going to shut the camera off because sanding is about as boring as it gets. So We'll be back as soon as we uh, get ready to do the next part. Okay, well we've finished sanding through 220, which has taken us about 25 or 30 minutes. Just not a whole lot of fun. Uh, pretty smooth. Mahogany finishes up real nice. Thought I'd put a couple of little rings at the bottom of this uh, using this skew chisel here. We'll put a little decoration on there and see what happens. Well, 
Well, that jazzed it up a little bit. So we'll uh, hand sand this with some 320 grit and then um, we'll come back, we'll reverse it around and then we'll come back and turn the other side. Okay, I've taken the, the blank off and I've mounted it to the screw chuck as I showed earlier. And we're going to screw this onto the lathe. That'll fit on there. It's held there nice and tight. Now what we need to do is make a uh, couple of circles here to indicate where we want our little bowl to be. What size we want it to be on the inside. And there's a little decorative bead that goes around it. So if we put that up there. So I want the inside of the bowl to be at about 2 and 5 eighths, which means it needs to be about 1 and 5 sixteenth in radius. So let's see. If I put that there, there's one and five sixteenths. Let's draw a little line here and see how that looks. First bit right off the spindle. That might help. Let's see. We'll draw a little line better yet. We'll do it the uh, do it this way. <clears throat> Goes a little faster when you do it that way. And let's see, that should be two and five eighths, which it is. And so I want a three sixteenth inch bead. So if I measure over three three sixteenths of an inch, and we'll see how that looks. All right. So if we make another mark there. It's tough on the mechanical pencil. Okay. We'll see how that looks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, I said I have to trim some of this outside edge off here, so we'll. Uh, kind of lines up with our drawing, drawing on the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a parting tool, define those edges, and then start to hollow out that center section there. And then do a little bit on the outside, and then we'll kind of go from there. All right, let's see. Get all geared up here. There we go. That one's about an eighth. If I'm nothing else, I'm consistent. So we got to go down another sixteenth of an inch or so. Now the, uh, the idea now is to hollow out the center part of this uh, um, little bowl shape on the inside here and then take nothing off out here and make a little taper that comes down to this to where that bottom of that little groove is. So I'll do a little bit of that and then we'll uh, put the video on hold for a little while. Let's see, we gotta go down a little bit with the tool rest and let's see how we do.
that's all I'm going to do with the inside for now. So let's start on the outside a little bit and we'll see what we Okay, you get the general idea. So I'll continue on with this and then we'll come back when, the, uh, when I got it shaped up. Okay, I finished rough turning the top part of this bowl. You can see we got a little bowl shaped here. It's not real deep. Um, can't be real deep or it's not thick. The worst thing you can do is make it deeper than the bottom, which should mean you have a hole in the bottom of it, which wouldn't work out real well. There's a little bump in there I need to take off. I got a little bit of a bead formed here on this part. And I've tapered this out. This pretty rough it needs to be sanded. So that's what I'm going to do next. And once we come back, we should be uh, almost finished with it. Okay, I finished turning the top and sanded it, which was a chore. As you can see, we've got a nice little uh, bowl shape with a little lip there. Certainly not a functional bowl, but it's kind of a decorative piece. Uh, we've got the bottom there with the little rings. I put a couple little rings on the top as well. Just the little grooves there. I'll put some finish on it, and we should be uh, done with this project. Uh, so I'd like to thank the uh, folks at Wood Turning Design Magazine for the inspiration, and I'd like to thank you for watching. Thank you. Well, here's the final product. Hopefully you can see it in the video, my elaborate uh, photographic setup with a couple of pieces of copy paper. They're not really working out real well. Um, I first thought that this was a piece of mahogany because I'd bought it with a bunch of mahogany cutoffs. But after looking at it and working with it, it uh, turns out that it's actually sapile, which is uh, often confused for mahogany. So once I put a finish on it, it in, uh, based on the hardness of the wood, it was uh, very hard, harder than the mahogany that I normally turn. So I believe this is a nice piece of sapile. It turned out pretty well. Um, I'll probably keep it here in my office on my table with all my other uh, wood turning projects. I'm going, if I keep this up I'm going to have to ask my boss for a new uh, table for my office and I'm not quite sure she's going to agree to that. So anyway it was a fun project to make. Um, as I said it's uh, the uh, the design and inspiration came from Wood Turning Design Magazine so I'd like to thank them for that. And I'd like to thank you for watching my video. Thank you.